In this video, we're going to take a look at the word biking. Vikings have been essentially reinvented through the Victorian period and then more recently in the last sort of 60 or so years they've been reinvented by Hollywood several different times and now more recently with the latest television production. So let's take a look at what a Viking actually meant because there's a lot of um, distortion around this particular word. So let's take a look at the word Viking. So Viking. If we take a look at the etymology of the word, it, it's actually slightly difficult to, to know the exact etymology because vikinga, as it would have been in Norwegian, uh, is actually similar to Old Saxon, which was probably pronounced weeking. And similar to what it was in Old Italian, which was Wikinger. Lots of similarities there. Although we know, and historians most commonly understand the word Viking to really mean to raid or to pirate. But it's interesting because words often evolve. And I think it's very interesting as well when we think that Spelling wasn't standardised really until the Victorian period and definitions of words weren't standardised until the Victorian period. So we have a very interesting word here that may very well have had different meanings and connotations. So weaking again meant raider and I, I believe that the Saxons would have referred to uh, the Vikings as raiders or, or, or weakings. So I think this is interesting because um, not only did the Scandinavians from the time raid into England and France and let's face it just about everywhere else in Europe, um, but they also traded. So there would have been a difference in the actual ship design uh, as, as to what type of ship you had facing you. So not only did we look at the long ships, but there was also um, several different classes of ships and uh, we'll explore those a bit more in different videos to come in the next sort of 6 to 12 months. Um, but the Canar, and I apologise if I've got my pronunciation wrong there, was a different class of ship and that was typically used, as I understand it, as a, a supply ship uh, and a trading ship. So this would have been um, something that was recognisable to the people on the coastlines and they would have understood these Scandinavians were here to trade, not necessarily to pirate at that time. So it would have depended uh, and I don't think that they would have necess necessarily, I don't think the, the Saxons would have necessarily referred to the Vikings uh, as, as Vikings all the time. I don't think the Saxons would have necessarily referred to the Scandinavians as, as Weekings or Vikings all the time. They would have been known as, as traders. It would simply depend on, I think, the type of ship that they were faced with. And it's interesting to see how the word has evolved so much, especially in the last sort of 20 or 30 years. We now have Viking houses, Viking ships, Viking clothing, Viking weapons. Viking craftsmen and Viking settlers, amongst many other things, and people even call it the Viking Age. I disagree with the Viking Age because I don't necessarily think that uh, a particular period in time can be uh, associated with one single culture. I think the reason why a lot of people like to associate the Vikings with this particular period, and it is understandable, is that the Vikings actually accomplished so much um, and, and not only in terms of the depth of different things 
because not only were they amazing traders and they established new trade routes and they were amazing craftsmen and women, uh, amazing builders uh, and amazing warriors. Uh, so we have that, the breadth of their society and the depth of their society. It's really quite interesting. So there is a lot of credibility to calling it a Viking Age. I personally struggle with that a bit. There we go. Um, I think as well it's, it's a convenient term for a lot of people who are not necessarily historically minded to bring together a group of people, a culture and a religion and a range of achievements into one word so that they can understand it and that's quite understandable. Because, of course, if, if we insist on saying, well, Viking, as in the word, can only represent the raiding and piracy and wars that were conducted by the Scandinavian people at that particular time period, then I think what we're doing is we're restricting our own modern language. Because, can we really call... Uh, you know, do we then try to associate old tribes to Wales and Ireland and Scotland and everywhere else throughout Europe? Uh, I, I don't really think that's very achievable. So I think we need to understand that the word Viking has changed. And whilst it may have a context or a definition to people of historical backgrounds, it also has a different historical meaning to, to other people. That's just my thoughts, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you in my next video.